Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for standing by for the second quarter 2022 earnings conference call for Huya Inc. At this time, all participants are in the listen-only mode. Today's conference call is being recorded. I'll now turn the call over to Ms. Han Yu Liu, Company Investor Relations. Please go ahead. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Huya's second quarter 2022 earnings conference call. The conference, the company's financial and operational results were issued earlier today and are posted online. You can also view the earnings press release by visiting the IR website at ir.huya.com. A replay of the call will be available on the IR website in a few hours. Participants on today's call will be Mr. Rong Jiedong, Chief Executive Officer of Huya, and Ms. Ashley Wu, Vice President of Finance. Management will begin with prepared remarks, and the call will conclude with a Q&A session. Before we continue, please know that today's discussion will contain forward-looking statements made under the safe harbor provisions of the U.S. Private Securities Litigation Reform Act of 1995. Forward-looking statements involve inherent risks and uncertainties. As such, the company's results may be materially different from the views expressed today. Further information regarding this and other risks and uncertainties is included in the company's prospectus and other public filings as filed with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. The company does not assume any obligation to update any forward-looking statements except as required under applicable law. Please also know that Huya's earnings press release and this conference call include discussions of unaudited gap financial information as well as unaudited non-gap financial measures. Huya's press release contains a reconciliation of the unaudited non-gap measures to the unaudited most directed comparable gap measures. I will now turn the call over to our CEO, Mr. Rong Jiedong. Please go ahead. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining our conference call today. Our 2022 second quarter was largely conditioned by the turbulence in the macro and regulatory environment. We mentioned in our previous earnings that the new domestic live streaming regulations, which were introduced in May, mainly focused on tipping behavior and protection for mirrors. Accordingly, we adjusted the associated products and operations on our platform, and we will continue to closely follow policy updates and make timely adjustments to ensure compliance. The prudent adjustments we undertook in Q2 carried a fairly immediate impact to certain facets of our business. And uh, together with the macro headwinds, Q2 domestic live streaming revenue decreased by mid-single digits on a quarter-over-quarter basis. Despite the impact, we still managed to grow our use base as well as achieve approximately MB 2.3 billion in revenues and approximately MB 6 million in non gap net income in the second quarter of 2022. We will work to mitigate the effect on our business by dynamically adjusting our monetization strategies across our platform's operations. Essentially, our strong foundation and the business fundamentals will carry us through the long term. We are confident we have leverage in our business as we scale further in the game live streaming industry through consistent investments in quality content and innovative 
products while continuing to provide attractive game, esports, and entertainment content that satisfies the core needs of our users. Our business is a resilient one, which we expect to rebound and prosper as market conditions stabilize. Life. With that in mind, we remain focused on future opportunities. In spite of all the ex external factors, our Q2 results mar marked another quarter of user expansion. We sustained growth in mobile MLs and uh, instituted formative measures across our product upgrades, and the game industry value chain integration. Now, let me walk you through some of our key metrics, starting with user growth. We are live mobile emails reached 83.6 million in the second quarter, representing encouraging growth of 7.7% from the year-over-year -year period. This growth was mainly due to the continuous enrichment of quality content as well as product upgrades and optimization, which leveled up our platform's user appeal. Additionally, it further highlights both the necessity and efficiency of our content investment strategies and the product improvements. User stickiness also improved, with total user time spent on our platform in the quarter growing by about 12% year over year. Our Huya Live efforts next month's user retention rate remained above 70% in addition to our growing active user base. With respect to product upgrades, we have found positive strides in introducing product innovations for our users. Our newest version 10.0 of Huya Live app further integrates community features and enhances the user inter interaction experience. More spe specifically, version 10.0 of Huawei Live adds a social community called Tiger Chit Chat, which features broad-based content ranging from videos, images, and the text posts to game Q&A strategies and events. The community also serves as a discussion board between users and their favorite broadcasters, promoting better interaction between broadcasters and their fans to cultivate deeper bonds during non-streaming hours engaged in community interactions and activities. Users are more motivated to produce high-quality UGC in the video category through our algorithm-driven recommendations and operations. Furthermore, segments for different game titles and tournaments have also been created and official accounts to operated by game studios can join the community to provide the latest game information and strategies. In addition, based on the interactive one-click to join broadcasters gameplay feature, which is available in our live streaming channels, we launched a competition function called Community Contest, 
enabling users to participate in a game competition with peers on who are initiating battles in the matching system with just one click. Here, users can win prizes offered by the platform and also have the chance to compete with celebrity game broadcasters. This new feature is another testament, testament to our ability to recognize and fulfill user needs and As a side note, I'd like to mention that our community features are not created at random. The foundation of communitization is deeply embedded on our platform through years of development. The features we institute are based in our understanding of community preferences and most of our upgrades are born of trends dictated by our users' tastes. Our achievements in product upgrades and the value chain integration activi actively advance us toward our vision of bec becoming a non-stop non destination for comprehensive game-related re services as we worked and collaborated with our partners to capture more opportunities across the industry value chain. Along with a more comprehensive offering, we aimed to unlock more monetization opportunities going forward. In addition, by leveraging our long-term initiatives in game operations, we deepened our collaboration with game titles in recent months. Taking LOL Wild Rift as an example, we will team the up with its game studio across product function development and the game and the community operations. Excitingly, Huya has contributed to the content and the interactive features of Wild Rift Rift's in-game streaming function. Additionally, Huya's community is linked to and syncs with the official LOL companion app for popular Wild Rift related videos and posts. On the tournament front, Huya was among the first to stream the Wild Rift League, WIL, the game's inaugural professional league in China. We also produced a series of self-branded tournaments for this title, such as Huya Zhanshan Cup which has become a division of the official Wild Rift Tua League. These types of linkers help improve users' viewing experience and bring who are a first move, mover advantage in Wild Rift's mobile esports tournament system while strengthening who are leading position in this eSports game. In promoting the newly launched LOL eSports manager game, in addition to our work on general operational activities, such as recruiting broadcast broadcasters and uh, providing streaming incentives, by working with this game studio, we also integrated some game features in the broadcasting sessions of LOL's major events, LOL Pro League and LOL Champion Korea, and sent out Huya designated virtual items to users participating 
in those interactive activities. We are glad to see the game quickly gaining traction on our platform during the summer tournament season. Lastly, I would like to point out that on top of our continuous efforts in growing our user base and the game industry integration at the corporate level, we have been focused on improving our operational efficiency and uh, adopting more stringent budget control measures. We see these initiatives as necessary to help us navigate macro headwinds and uh, other external uncertainties. We are already seeing some early encouraging results from our operation optimization efforts, which actually will cover in great detail in just a moment. Going forward, we aim to further strengthen our monetization capabilities, optimize our cost and expense structure, and fortify our business fundamentals to achieve sustainable business development over the long term. With that overview, I will now turn the call over to our VP of Financial Finance, Ashley Wu, to share more details on our operating metrics and financials. Ashley, please go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Dong, and hello, everyone. To expand on Mr. Dong's remarks, I will now provide some updates on our content enrichment and diversification initiatives. On the professional esports content front, we broadcasted around 90 third-party esports tournaments in the second quarter of 2022. With the total viewership of those licensed tournaments reaching 608 million, during the quarter, we pursue our ROI-led strategy, procuring tournaments more selectively to ensure our high-quality content offerings align more closely with our budget control goals. In particular, legacy tournaments such as LPL, Mid-Season Invitational, and King Pro League maintain their leading positions in viewership. Thanks to our strengthened cooperation with the Crossfire game, the Crossfire Pro League Spring continues to attract high user attention. I'd like to highlight that in 2022, Huya became one of Crossfire's top level partners. Our cooperation now spans the game viewing experience, esports content, and virtual privileges. We expect our broader alliance with Crossfire to help further expand our market reach in the first-person shooter game genre, gaining us another comp competitive advantage. In addition to licensed eSports content, we broadcasted 18 self-organized eSports tournaments and entertainment PGC shows during the second quarter generating total viewership of approximately 100 million. This was a particularly remarkable achievement given the pandemic-related lockdowns in a few major cities in Q2, as well as our stricter project selection process. During the quarter, outstanding self-organized tournaments included Honor of King Thunder Cup, Huya Zhanshan Cup, Huya Division of Team Fight Tactic Open Championships, and the seventh Huya Mobile Game Arena. It is worth noting that the Thunder Series, a phenomenal Huya IP tournament, created for Honor of Kings, integrated online and offline gaming sessions, promoting the influence of popular broadcasters on our platform. 
Such efforts are assisting Huya in building its proprietary comprehensive tournament system around honor of kings, which will help sustain the stable and healthy development of its esports ecosystem on our platform. Beyond adopting a more selective approach and allocating our resources to more effective content, as Mr. John mentioned earlier, we remain diligent in improving our operational efficiency and optimizing our business expenses in a meaningful way. Our recent efforts in adjusting our overseas business, fine-tuning marketing channels, and streamlining internal processes have led to a reduction of our Q2 total operating expenses by 17% quarter over quarter and 21.6% year over year. Next, moving on to our Q2 financial details. Unless otherwise specified, the percentage changes I'll be reviewing are all on a year-over-year -year basis. Our total net revenues were RMB 2.28 billion for Q2, compared with RMB 2.96 billion for the same period last year. Live streaming revenues were RMB 2.05 billion for Q2, compared with RMB 2.58 billion for the same period last year. The decline was mainly due to recent micro and regulatory environments. We saw lower average spending per paying user on Huya Life on a year-over-year -year basis. As the micro softness continued to adversely affect paying users' sentiment, the number of paying users for Huya Life was 5.6 million flat compared with the same period last year. Advertising and other revenues was RMB 223 million for Q2 compared with RMB 383 million for the same period last year. Primarily due to lower content supply sensing revenues as a result of fewer sections for licensing according to the licensing event schedule. The demand for advertising services was also soft due to the ongoing challenging micro-environment. Cost of revenues decreased by 13.6% to RMB 2.06 billion for Q2, primarily due to decreased revenue sharing fees and content costs as well as, as bandwidth costs. Revenue sharing fees and content costs decreased by 13.3% to nearly RMB 1.77 billion for Q2, primarily due to the decrease in revenue sharing fees associated with declined live streaming revenues. Bandwidth costs decreased by 9.9% to RMB 154 million for Q2, primarily due to improved bandwidth cost management and continued technology enhancement efforts. Gross profit was one was RMB 290 million for Q2, compared with RMB 581 million for the same period of 2021, primarily due to lower revenues. Gross margin was 9.6% for Q2. Excluding share-based compensation expenses, non-GAAP gross profit was RMB 223 million, and non-GAAP gross margin was 9.8% for Q2. Research and development expenses decreased by 19% to RMB 168 million for Q2, primarily due to the decrease 
in share-based compensation expenses. Sales and marketing expenses decreased by 40% to RMB 100 million for Q2, primarily due to decreased marketing and promotion fees as well as personnel-related expenses. General and administrative expenses increased by 13.5% to RMB 82 million for Q2, primarily due to the increase in professional service fees and personnel-related expenses. Other income was RMB 50 million for Q2, compared with RMB 48 million for the same period of 2021. As a result, operating loss was RMB 81 million for Q2, compared with operating income of RMB 182 million for the same period of 2021. Excluding share-based compensation expenses, non-GAAP operating loss was RMB 56 million, and non-GAAP operating margin was negative 2.5% for Q2. Interest and short-term investments income were RMB 66 million for Q2, compared with RMB 58 million for the same period of 2021. Income tax expenses were RMB 1 million for Q2, compared with RMB 58 million for the same period of 2021, primarily due to lower taxable income. Net loss attributable to Huya Inc. was RMB, RMB 19 million for Q2, compared with net income attributable to Huya Inc of RMB 186 million for the same period of 2021. Non-GAAP net income attributable to Huya Inc was RMB 6 million for Q2, compared with RMB 250 million for the same period of 2021. Non-GAAP net margin was 0.3% for Q2. Dinoted net loss per ADS was 8 cents RMB for Q2. Non-GAAP diluted net income per ADS was 2 cents RMB for Q2. As of June 30, 2022, the company had cash and cash equivalent, short-term deposits and short-term investments of RMB 10.72 billion, compared with RMB 10.47 billion as of March 31, 2022. With that, I would now like to open the call to your questions. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We will now begin the question and answer session. To ask questions on the phone, please press star 1-1 and wait for our name to be announced. For the benefit of all participants on today's call, if you wish to ask your question to management in Chinese, please immediately repeat your question in English. The first question now comes from the line of Yiwen Zhang from China Renaissance. Please go ahead. Uh, Wanshanghaoli 然后背后原因是什么？然后我们预期它能达到什么样的作用？So thanks for taking my question. My question is regarding the game community function we added in recent update. 
So can you like elaborate more on the rationale behind the setting of this skin community? And what kind of function does it provide? Does it synergize with the rest of our business? Thank you. 这个近期我们在虎牙的最新的版本里面 Thank you for this question. Recently, we have officially launched the Tiger Chit Chat community in Huya's application version 10.0, which covers video and graphic communications. Users can initiate discussions on game Q&A, strategy tips, as well as tournaments, and etc. 有同样爱好的人对于这个内容兴趣进行讨论 On the one hand, it provides a place for communication between users and live streamers. Users can also discuss interesting content with their peers. The live streamers can better interact with their fans during non-streaming hours, which is also conducive to consolidating their fan base. And on the other hand, through recommendations and operating screening, it can stimulate the enthusiasm of the users to reduce video UGC and increase the sense of user participation and help to improve the high quality content output on our Huya platform. So, 在便于用户探索游戏的同时，能够帮助游戏厂商优化运营的效果，然后提升虎牙跟游戏厂商之间的一些合作。In addition, we also set up zones for some major game titles and tournaments, and invited the official operating accounts of the games to settle in, so as to provide more accurate consultation and related video and live content of the corresponding game titles. At the same time, it can also help the game studios to optimize their, op uh, their operation for a better effect and enhance their cooperation relations with Huya. Chi 玩家关系的这些需求 This version update comes as a natural upgrade of function of community Huya's community has been gradually built over the past several years and therefore, it is necessary to upgrade the product to make an organic combination of a live streaming plus a video plus community and in a one-stop manner meet the user's various needs for watching the game live, sharing and communicating, and joining the game at any time. The content metrics of Huya meets the needs of the players to understand and discover the game before they play, consume the derived content after the game, 
and also precipitate the needs of the players. We hope to generate greater value in the game industry chain, explore other monetization opportunities in addition to live revenue income, advertising, and games. Thank you. Let's have the next question. For the question, our next question. Our next question comes from the line of Richie Sun from HSBC. Please go ahead. Ranking uh, thank you, management, for taking my question. Um, regarding the regulation tightening towards tipping ranks and PK since May, uh, could you please quantify the revenue MAU and paying user impact on our platform? And what are the alternative solutions for us to recoup the loss of uh, revenue or users due to the regulation? Thank you. Uh, 就是五月份是监管部门有发布了关于规范网络直播打赏和保护未成年人的这个意见以及规范一些重点的一个功能那比如说这个打赏榜单方面的一些调整那我们相信这个将会更好的规范直播行业促进直播行业的一个健康长期发展 Since the regulatory authorities issued the opinions on standardizing the online live broadcast reward and minors protection in May we have implemented the requirements on schedule after the policy change accordingly. And this policy mainly focuses on minor protection and strengthening the management during the peak hours, such as the adjustment of PK playing sessions and key functions, such as the tipping um, ranking modification. We believe that this policy change uh, will help us to better regulate the industry and promote uh, long-term development. 近期我们也主动对于平台上面的一些产品和运营做了一些更合规的一个调整，同时也针对主播的一些直播内容和行为做了更加严格的管理。那我们也会紧密跟踪各项一些政策的更新，及时完善产品和运营模式。直播内容和行为做了更加严格的管理。那我们也会紧密跟踪各项一些政策的更新，及时完善产品和运营模式，营造更加健康的平台氛围. To some products and operations on the platform, and meanwhile, we have also made some more stringent uh, management uh, on the live content and behaviors of the live streamers. We will also closely monitor the policy updates and timely improve the product and operation practices and create a more healthy platform atmosphere and content supply. 目前来看,我们做的这些调整对于直播收入在一定期间内会造成一些影响。其中在Q2的影响主要集中在6月,那预计Q3会反映整个季度的影响。我们也在持续评估这些影响对于财务以及运营指标的后续情况。At present, 
these adjustments have been casting some impact on live broadcast revenue that we have in a certain period of time, amongst which the impact in Q2 is mainly in June, and it is expected that the Q3 will reflect its impact on the whole quarter. We are also continuously assessing the subsequent impact of these adjustments on financial and operational indicators. 整体来说，这些调整和变化对于虎牙平台上的核心用户的需求影响是有限的。我们依然会将通过提供优质的游戏、电竞和其他娱乐内容，更好的服务我们的核心用户，同时也会动态的调整我们的运营和变现策略，比
At present, um, to improve the company's operational efficiency, take more stringent budget control measures, and optimize costs and expenses are an important job of ours, uh, which will help us to better consolidate the company's businesses and financial foundations under the current environment and support the long-term sustainable development. 首先,我们近期对于海外业务的调整是整体优化成分费用的一项举措,能够帮助我们降低海外业务亏损对于整体财务的一个margin of all, our recent adjustment of overseas businesses is a measure of overall cost optimization, which can help us to reduce the margin drag of overseas business loss on the whole. 其次在第二季度的成本方面除了版权和自制内容上有更加严格的筛选程序在主播签约带宽使用效率方面均有所优化在运营费用方面我们在渠道和推广支出方面更加谨慎尽管受到本季度收入影响利润有所下滑我们在运营效率上提升依然取得一定的成绩第二季度总的运营费用相比去年同期下降百分之二十一点六相比第一季度也下降了百分之十七In terms of the cost, in the second quarter, in addition to more stringent screening procedures for a copyrighted and um, self-made content, it has been optimized in terms of the live streamer signing and bandwidth utilization efficiency. Um, in terms of operating expenses, we are more cautious in channel and promotion expenses, and we also strengthen the internal processes for that matter. We also have made more um, control over the personal related costs and expenses. Despite uh, the decline in profit margin due to the decline in revenue in this quarter, we still made some achievements in improving the operational efficiency. The total operating expenses in the second quarter decreased by 21.6% year over year and 17% quarter on quarter. 但是由于季节性的因素,我们的利润率在下半年会受到赛事成本增加,以及相应配合推广支出的一些影响。We believe that these measures will continue to optimize the cost and expenses. However, due to seasonal factors, our profit margin level will be affected by the increase of event costs and the corresponding promotion expenses in the second half of the year. 从更长期来看，通过增强变现能力，持续优化成本和费用结构，比如说更加平衡的赛事、自制内容和主播成本，持续提升运营效率，我们对于利润率的提升，并且维持正向的利润是有信心的。for a longer term perspective, by enhancing monetization capability of ours, we continuously optimize the cost and expense structure, such as a more balanced tournament and self-produced content and streamer costs, as well as continuous improvement of operational efficiency. We're confident in improving the margin and maintaining a positive profit. Okay. Uh, let's have the next question. Certainly. We will take the next questions from Thomas Chong from Jefferies. Again, please repeat your question. Hi, Thomas. Please go ahead. 晚上好,谢谢管理层接受我的提问。uh, thanks, management, for taking my questions. Uh, my question is about our content strategy. Can management comment about um, how we should think about uh, the outlook in second half as well as uh, in the future? Thank you. Uh, 好的, 
呃，那我们之前也有提过哈，就是用户是我们业务的一个核心，持续驱动用户的增长是我们公司一个长期的发展战略。因此，对于优质内容的投入，我们觉得是非常必要的，因为这个是持续服务好我们的用户，并且巩固虎牙的竞争地位。与此同时，我们也将会采取更加谨慎的投入策略策略，把资源集中投入到更加有效果的内容当中。Thank you for your question. As we mentioned before, that users are the core of our businesses, and it is the company's long-term development strategy to continuously drive user growth. And therefore, for quality content investment, it is still necessary because they help us to continuously serve our users and consolidating the competitive position that we have. At the same time, we'll also adopt a more cautious investment strategy and concentrate our resources on more effective content. 嗯，在版权和自制内容方面，我们会对各项采买或是自作内容的 ROI 进行更有针对性的分析和细化的评估，也会是市场情况及时进行调整。呃，由于今年开始，我们在版权赛事和自制内容方面有更加严格的选择，所以从数目上来看，可能没有以前那么多，但是从整体看，呃，质量是有所提升的。这个也体现在这些内容的观看人次和我们平台的 MAU 的增长上面。比如说，第二季度总共有一亿人次观看了十八项自制赛事和 PGC 节目 ，Q 一和 Q 二的移动端 MAU。In terms of IP and self-made content, we carry out more targeted analysis and meticulous evaluation on the ROI of various planned purchases that we have and content production, and make timely adjustments according to the market conditions. And since this year, we have more. Uh, strict choices in IP tournaments and self-made content projects. So the total number may not be as many as before, but the overall quality is improved. This is also reflected in the size of the viewership watching these contents and the growth of the MAU on our platform. Let me give you an example. In the second quarter. Uh, a total of about 100 million people watched 18 self-produced tournaments and PGC programs that we have. The year-on-year -year growth of mobile MAUs in Q1 and Q2 uh, was at a high single-digit level. 呃，我们对于目前一些价格比较高的顶级赛事，依然会进行持续的投入。那下半年也会直播包括 S 十二在内的各项主流电竞游戏的头部赛事。我们考虑的不仅是短期的直接成本和收入，更加着眼于其对于用户价值、品牌形象、平台合作等多方面的一个影响。当然，我们也希望在未来能够争取到更好的合作条款，实现长期的收益。Here would also like to mention that at present we'll continue to invest in some top tier events with higher prices relatively. In the second half of the year, we'll broadcast top level professional leagues of various mainstream game titles, including S12. We consider not only the short-term direct costs and revenue, but also uh, the impact on user value, brand uh, reputation, and platform cooperation, and so on. At the same time, we also hope to negotiate for better commercial terms in the future and realize long-term benefits. 呃，在主播内容方面，我们也会动态调整签约和分成的投入。同时，通过技术产品的升级，去帮助和激励平台的用户和主播，创造视频以及更多互动的内容，形成更加丰富和完整的内容矩阵。In terms of live streamer content, uh, we'll also dynamically address the input of signing and tipping sharing uh, that we have with the live streamers. Through the upgrading of technology, uh, we can help and encourage the users and live streamers of the platform to create videos and more interactive content to form a more complete matrix of content offering. 
Thank you. Let's have the next question, please. Thank you for the question. The next question comes from the line of Lei Zhang from Bank of America. Please go ahead. Ah, 管理层啊，晚上好，谢谢接受我的提问。啊，我的问题主要是关于中长期的，怎么看我们公司现在一个中中长期的一个增长的主要的动力来自哪里呢？谢谢。Ah, my question is mainly about the our long term growth. What are the growth driver in mid to long term that you that you can share with us? Thank you. 好的，我来回答一下。我们现在的这个这个直播的这个这个变现的收入，目前受外部影这个环境的影响还是比较大的。虽然这个虎牙平台具有持续增长的用户基础、良好的用户的这些这些粘性以及商业化运营的能力，但是呢，我们预估直播收入能够逐渐恢复到这个增长的一个趋势。在这个在以上的这些基础上面，我们认为未来还有以下这些点是中长期我们发展的方向。嗯 ，At present, our monetization result is mainly conditioned by the external environment. Huya has a continuously growing user base and good user loyalty and commercial operation ability. With our commercialization model be further explored and optimized, and the market situation improves, we expect that our live broadcast revenue will gradually return to a growing trajectory. And we believe that starting from here, we have a few mid to long term development directions. Okay, 第一，前面提到那个虎牙作为游戏产业链中重要的一环。为游戏用户和厂商提供了很多的价值，尤其是对一些长尾的游戏品类，可以从运营端提供更多的服务，帮助游戏获取和保留用户，扩大游戏的影响力。目前我们这个直接获得的收入主要还是从用户端获得的，而从游戏厂商端，我们也希望能够通过更深的合作以及这个提供一些特殊的服务。比如联合运营等去实现合作共赢。从中长期来看，这个应该是一块对业务和收入有潜力这个增长的地方。First, as mentioned before, Huya as a key part to the game industry chain provides a lot of value for game users and studios. For the category of long tail game titles. More services can be provided from the operation end to help the game obtain and retain users and expand the influence of the games. At present, our direct income is mainly coming from the user side, while from the game studios side, we also hope to achieve win-win cooperation through deeper cooperation with them and more services provided, such as joint operation. Um, in the mid to long term, I think this is a place with the potential for business and revenue growth. 第二，把视频业务和直播业务更好的联系起来。我们现在做的这个社区的功能，里面有这个视频内容，也新设了数数数版的短视频的一些内容。通过这些产品的升级，我们目前每天用户流量里面有约百分之三十。会去看视频，在这个数据进一步提升以后，我们希望能够实现更多与视频相关的一些收入的变现，比如广告等。Second point,、uh, we hope to better link the video businesses with live streaming businesses. The community functions that we have now integrated into the video content, and we have also set up a vertical short form video module. And through upgrading these products, about 30% of our daily users watch videos currently. With this data being further improved in the future, we hope to realize more monetization、uh, from the videos, such as advertising revenue. 此外，我们认为直播间的一些互动游戏以及虚拟主播和虚拟直播间等形式，也是。直播发展的一个趋势，目前这些也是虎牙已经在探索，并且已经取得了一些初步的效果。预计这些形式在未来有机会创造更多的价值。
In addition, we believe that interactive games in the live uh, streaming room, as well as the forms of a virtual streamer or virtual live room, are gaining popularity. So we have explored and tried these forms and achieved some preliminary results. And it is expected that these forms will also um, present some opportunities to create more value in the future. Okay, thank you. There are no further questions now. I would like to turn the call back over to the company for closing remarks. Thank you once again for joining us today. If you have further questions, please feel free to contact Huya's Investor Relations through the contact information provided on us today. If you have further questions for relations. This concludes this conference call. You will now disconnect your lines. Thank you.